Back with the Boom Boom Gun, Gia Gun. Hi. Back again, headed to our TV screens. Back, back, back again. Are you ready for this drag race ride all over again? I don't know if I am, but everybody else is, so that's getting me there and more inspired. And whether you're ready or not, here, here we it come. comes. Yes. <laughs> Step aside, boys, because the real queen is here. You are the first trans woman to compete on the show in a full season since Rue made some comments that then he stepped back saying, I don't think we're ever going to have trans women compete on the show. Mm -hmm. Stepping into that, is there a lot of pressure on you? I think it's more of a pressure just to make sure that I am representing my community, but also remembering where I come from, and uh, most importantly, just being uh, truthful to myself. I always say, you know, because of Drag Race, I was able to dive in to my self-discovery and really discover um, my transness. I think they asked me to come back knowing that I was the perfect person to kind of use my voice in the most positive way possible. Um, so that is the pressure, honestly. My pet, make no mistake, I love you from head to toe. Now, sachet away. When you got the call, to come back for All Stars. Was it an immediate yes, or did you really have to think about it? Ooh, I had to think about it. It was really hard for me to make the decision, especially after RuPaul making these comments. I don't think RuPaul is transphobic. I do think that the comments were taken that way. If you ask me, yeah, I would never want to be compared to, you know, a drag queen or a cross-dresser for that matter, right? Because right. this is not a fantasy for me. This is my reality. And that's kind of what she was saying. Today you said in the premiere that you went on this journey of self-discovery after mm -hmm. Drag Race and you did find your trans identity. Was that a, a thing you had to reconcile of how do you be both? A hundred and ten percent. Drag, I think, sometimes raises these questions that are confusing because somehow when I'm in drag, I feel less than a woman, right? I actually contemplating quitting drag, not wanting to do anything with drag anymore, kind of <laughs> hanging up the lashes and, you know, being very that girl. Until I realized that, you know, you can never run from who you are. And drag is such a big part of my life. I think I've been given this opportunity and this blessing to really have um, a, a big voice use that voice for those that don't have one and just bring representation and visibility to uh, my trans community. How do you differentiate Gia just walking around to Gia on stage as a drag queen? I think uh, mentally it's the same person, spiritually it's the same person, physically I think it's very different, right? During the day I'm not really trying to be seen and trying to impress people and have guys, you know, say inappropriate things to me <laughs> and um, just causing attention. I'm really just trying to live my day-to-day -day life. And then, you know, in drag, it's there's a definite motive there, right? Right. To make people laugh, to make people gag, to make people, you know, oh my God, she looks sickening, you know what I mean? So I, I would say that's the main difference is the amount of attention that we're trying to create for ourselves. Got it. Let the games begin. If you had to sum up your All Stars 4 experience with one word, what would your word be? Um, educational. Okay. I think I learned a lot uh, by being on this season. I learned a lot about, you know, me and what drag means to me. I learned a lot about um, some of my other, you know, uh, drag race sisters and who they are personally as people. And I just think I learned that, you know, um, uh, this will probably be the last time I present myself as a drag queen on television. And, okay. And I think that's okay.